You'll notice here it says ready and pump off. That's your P1 pump or your primary uh, uh, primary pump on the uh, primary loop. What I'm going to do is I want to do a combustion test on this boiler. So in order to do that, I want to put it into the service mode. Service mode allows me to override the logic of the control and actually control the RPM and output of the boiler. I want to be able to go to low fire to do a combustion analysis and also at high fire. In order to do that, I hold in the enter button and the top button simultaneously. You will notice the fan started and the circulator started. This boiler actually lit off and is running right now. You notice here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says gas valve on and my RPM. Now I'm going to do my initial combustion test and I'm going to ramp this boiler down. The RPM right now is 3,700, RPM by pressing the down button. I've actually modulated the firing rate of this boiler and the fan speed down to 1600 RPMs. Each size boiler has a different RPM range. This particular one, which is a 150, has the uh, is down to 1697. Now I can do my combustion test, get my CO, CO2, and O2 readings. Once I have that as a benchmark, I can press the plus button and you can hear the boiler ramping up to high fire. High fire is normally where you set your, your parameters for the um, uh, CO, CO2, and so on. Uh, low fire is used to set what's called the offset, which is a different setting than the throttle screw, and it's intended to control the mixture of, or the ratio of fuel to air. I'm going to once again modulate this down. Another nice function is while I'm in this mode, I can go into the service mode, or status mode, excuse me, and I can see my supply temperature and my return temperature. 